When I'm working, I usually lose a sense of time. And sometimes I lose a sense of place. I just lose the studio, and that's hard to explain. And then when I'm really, really lucky, I lose a sense of me. And all of a sudden, it's just the paintbrush and the paint. And it's painting. The paintbrush is painting, the colors are mixing, you know, the, the, the painting's happening. And I'm kind of like watching it and, and trusting my intuition and the experience. I call myself a contemplative artist because meditation is an important part of my creative process. And what I do is before I start a painting session, I just meditate uh, for a few minutes and then I start to paint. And I paint from an intuitive place. Um, I don't have a plan before I start. Sometimes I'll have a, I'll be working on a series, so then I'll have kind of a general idea of where I want to head. But usually the process is more of the picture coming out of the canvas instead of me taking an idea and pushing it onto the canvas. And then at the end, when you finish the painting, you go, oh, I have a painting. And most artists work the other direction. They're, they're making a product that they can sell and, or a product that they have a commission for or a product that you know, fits in with their uh, personality and their line of art. Uh, but my work kind of is backwards. These paintings are, are very special. They're part of a series called Thresholds Unknown. And they're thresholds, and I don't know what they are, so they're terribly, un they're unknown. <laughs> I mean, when you first start out, you think that you, there's a proper way to paint, you know, and you usually use a brush and you either do it really smooth or you leave your marks. As you move along as an artist and you gain more experience, you have more freedom of, of trying new techniques and not being so f afraid of doing it wrong. <laughs> You're constantly marketing your art, but then there's the time in the studio where you don't have to market your art, you can just enjoy being a painter. And I think like most artists, we would rather spend all our time in the studio, but I'm not rich and famous enough to have somebody else handle my work.